I'm doing this because I really do feel uh, that I can make a change in our ward. And it's really important to me that I try. I've lived here for over 30 years. And in fact, my wife and I made a conscious decision uh, because we love this area so much that we wanted to stay and raise our family here. And we did. And we're up. <laughs> and what's not to love about this ward? First of all, we've got a beautiful lakefront, two blocks to, to the east. We've got world-class uh, uh, music venues, uh, not just here, but also uh, in the northern part of our ward. Uh, we've got free access, or very close access to public transportation. Uh, we've got great bars and restaurants and stores, independent businesses all throughout the ward. It's really uh, a wonderful place to live. We even have a major league baseball park uh, two blocks away. And I hear Lady Gaga likes to show up there sometimes. And hang out. So, uh, so we've got a lot to offer. But the thing I love most about the 46th Ward is the people. Uh, the people I've met in my 30 years in this ward are the kindest, uh, most generous, uh, most interesting people I've met in my life. And I really want to help uh, support those people. Uh, this community is often noted for its um, uh, celebration of diversity. But I think what's really the, the underlying uh, point of this community is that it thrives on diversity. It's not just celebrating it. We, we get, we're better as a result of it. And I can't think of a better place to be right now than at the Kit Kat Lounge, which is yeah. an iconic location. It's been here for over two decades, serving great food, wonderful drinks, sometimes too many wonderful drinks, but, but wonderful drinks, and also fantastic entertainment. Um, but it's also, more importantly, a place where people from our ward, from the city of Chicago, and from really across the United States, and I'm sure internationally, people can come here and be themselves, have a good time, and feel safe doing it. And I think that's really important. And I think it's, it's a symbol of what makes our ward so great. So thank you for having this event. Here. So as much as I love this ward, and I do, we still do have challenges that we face. And as my wife has somewhat indicated, there's nothing I like better than a good challenge. Um, you know, we have recently seen a fairly significant spike in violent crime in our neighborhood. The people in our ward should feel safe to, to walk around and to, and to exist in the ward. Um, public transportation, which is near and dear to my heart, has fallen on some hard times. <laughs> there are some things that need to change. It needs to be cleaner. It needs to be safer. It needs to be more reliable and it needs to be universally accessible for, for people who want to ride it. And we can do that, Jeff. <laughs> uh, we really can. Um, but there are other, there are other things, uh, other challenges that we face right now. We have an acute housing shortage. Uh, we need more homes to meet the burgeoning demand that we have. And we also have, you know, over the last couple of years, many of our, our stores and our, our restaurants and our taverns have struggled through COVID pandemic. Uh, some struggled with their business. Others uh, are no longer in existence as a result. And what we really need, I believe, is a, is a commercial uh, renaissance so that we can revitalize our economy, our local economy, and make sure that uh, you know we have a, a vibrant community for the next decade. Um, so there are a lot of things that we still need to do. So why elect me to do it? It's <laughs> a good question. I've thought about that one. Uh, my wife gave you some examples of things I've done, but I guess what I can tell you is this: for all the years that I've been uh, I've been working, I faced a lot of challenges before. And one thing I promise as your alderman that I'll do is first and foremost, I'll acknowledge the problems that exist. I'm not gonna brush them under the rug. I'm actually gonna take on the problems and address them because I think we need to do that. And in my 28 plus years now of uh, government service, I've been somebody who's always fixed the problems that people said were not fixable. That's what I do. I'm a fixer. In a good way. Uh, and also because, you know, I've worked for many years now with federal, state, and local agencies making government work better, making it more efficient, creating better service to the public, 
and, and saving taxpayer dollars in the process. And I think that's what we need in Chicago. I also have, uh, as my wife noted, some pretty extensive management experience uh, over many years. And I want to run uh, a reliable ward office for the people and the residents, constituents in our ward. And that means something that a uh, place people can go and get service when they need it um, and, and things run smoothly. That's very important to me. Uh, so I guess, simply put, I'm a bureaucracy buster. That's what I do. That's what I've always done. I bust bureaucracies. So I'm looking for your support uh, to be alderman of this ward. And I will tell you that if you elect me, I promise that I will work every day fighting for the residents and the people who work in this ward. I'll make sure that I ask the difficult questions, shine a light on problems that exist, and make sure that there's accountability at City Hall. At the same time, I can promise you this. Uh, I will build coalitions at City Hall, exert leadership to get practical, concrete solutions to the problems that we face. Because we do face problems and they do need to be fixed. So I guess in closing, I would just say, I have a lifelong government service. I feel like my mission has been for the last 28 years to make government work better for people. And I want to do that for the people in this ward. And if you support me, I will make this ward in this city a better place. Thank you.